Welcome back to how to build an F-14 Tomcat. Probably the first thing you notice is it's a whole lot brighter in here. We got all our lights in. Total of eight bulbs and four fluorescent holders. So definitely a lot brighter. It's not a it's not a cave anymore, as some would say. But you can see the F-14. We got it back on the bench. We got the both verticals, the horizontals in place, the canopy, the nose cone, and you can see the blue tape outlining. Pretty much a canopy area in the windscreen. I'm getting getting it ready so I can start painting that windscreen area so I can pull some molds off of that so I can start popping out the uh, the plugs for the the windscreen and the canopy lenses and everything. So that's pretty much where the fuselage is right now. Haven't done a whole lot to it. I've been working on the little F-16, but you can see it's it gets bigger as you start putting more stuff onto it. So. The span of the fuselage between this point and the other edge is about 39, 39 inches or so, right around there. And the stab span, I believe, is right at 50 inches or so. So it's a pretty big airplane, even without the wings on it. The table it sits on is 30, 30 inches wide and exactly 8 foot long. And it's hanging off the back of it about 3 inches and the nose about 8 inches. You can see the F8 or the F16 sitting up here in the corner. I've got some glue drying on it at the moment. The stabs are done. That bulkhead's put in. The vertical fins been installed. The new wing panels are over here. They've got the ailerons cut free. I'm got some all the balsa and plywood caps drying on that at the moment. And along with the F16, I've also got the the nose gear installed as far as the mounts and everything. So you can see the F-14 wings are way back out on the bench. That's uh, that bench is about ten, about nine or ten foot wide. I think it's about just under ten foot and a little over nine. So it's about nine and a half. And you can see the those wings take up pretty much the entire entire bench. So they're about I think they're about 45 inches per panel. So there's 90 inches of wings right there, plus the fuselage add up another 30 inches or so, and you can see it gets pretty big pretty quick. But I got some more organization to do up here. I'm going to try and clean up all that stuff. I did a little bit more with getting some tools out of some boxes and hung them up there. Got the bench over here set up and all with the power tools. I got to hook up my shop back to everything so I'm not blowing dust everywhere. But we're slowly getting it back the way it needs to. The uh, place I had my air conditioner on order from ordered the wrong one, which kind of explains why it was $300 cheaper than I was expecting. But it'll show up eventually, as soon as it gets off back order, which they, who knows how long that'll take. But temporary air conditioner is just a box fan. Right now it's about 60 degrees outside, so it's actually very comfortable since I insulated the roof. It's kind of like a, a heat box in here, so if I ever decide to do some post curing with some epoxy work, I'll just take the insulation off the roof. It gets about 30 degrees warmer in here than whatever it is outside in the summertime. But that's where we're at. I'll, uh, I'll get some more videos as I get more work done on both the F-16 and the big F-14 here. I'll uh, definitely start getting some more videos once I start pulling some molds off everything. I think I'm going to start trying to try and have this windscreen and the canopy ready to start pulling some molds for all that stuff by the end of the week. Or the middle of next week. We'll see. i got to get some mold release wax and some PVA and stuff for all that. But hopefully once I get all that done, things will start progressing pretty quickly. Still got to figure out how exactly I'm going to do the wings. I haven't decided if I'm going to go with the, the primer route and just have all the, the panel lines put in the wing panels. It seems to work out pretty well for Bob. And these panels, they take a, takes a pretty big piece of a litho plate to do it, which I just don't have in the aluminum order to do it. It's just too soft, and it, it shows all the... A lot of the the weave pattern in there so i think i'm gonna most likely go with the paint pretty much from here all the way this whole edge down here has to be one solid panel and just doing that with the litho and getting it put in place and everything it just it wouldn't work out very well and plus there's a ton of little access panels in here so i may do all the access panels on litho and uh just tape over those spray it with paint with the the tape which I have a ton of panel on tape in here. I got this stuff off eBay. It's 164th inch wide. When they said 98 cents for two rolls, I actually thought they meant two rolls, and they ended up sending me 
about 40 rolls or so. I mean, they just stacked it up all in there. So I've got enough 64th inch wide chart pack, chart tape is actually what it's called. But I mean, I've got enough of this stuff to to do a plenty of airplanes. That's only about half of what they sent me. I can't remember the name of the place, but I'll look it up and I'll get that to y'all. So any of you guys who are interested in buying some of that tape can can get it. But you probably saw my little goodie box of stuff stashed down in here. You just pretty much just try and keep everything organized. Scrap, fiberglass, carbon fiber, some more fiberglass, some West Systems graphite powder. Works pretty good for making um, some very slick uh, surfacing coats with just regular resin. Throw that. Then some coil cabasil or whatever in there to kind of thicken it up. This is actually just 100% polyester cloth from uh, from home from Walmart. It's about 50 cents a, a yard. Actually, I use this as pilpois it's when I'm fiberglassing wings. It it gets sort of all the hassle of having to do any sanding. I get a video of that process. Works out extremely well. Then I got some more fiberglass and some parts to my Eurosport that I still need to get put on there. And then of course the the G10 panels just all kinds of little goodies down in there but like I said we'll get some more videos as we get going on things should start picking up now that I've actually got the shop halfway well I guess about completely ready except for the air conditioner and I can actually see in here but that's where we're at hope all you guys have a great weekend and we will see you in the shop